This conference will now be recorded. Today we will be starting our next topic that is fleet management. Okay, so the, the, the topic we are going to cover today there that is fleet management. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there we will see fleet management overview, <coughs> fleet management overview, fleet relevant data in the equipment master record. What is a a fleet relevant data is maintained in the equipment master record we will see fleet profile and views what is fleet profile and uh, the views associated with that profile we will see then we will see fleet object types among the fleets what are the different object types we have we will see then fleet management process flow we will see the fleet management process flow importance of fluid type why the fluid type is created in the system why it is used then we will create the gas stations, gas stations, and fuel entry for parameters, fuel entry parameters we will see. And finally, we will enter the fuel entry in the system using the transaction IFC. Okay, and also we will understand uh, when we do this transaction what happens in the system. Okay, and configuration settings for fleet management. So these are the topics we will be covering in the fleet management okay. so first we'll start with the fleet object as equipment okay so if you recollect our equipment sessions whenever we create a equipment we use equipment category to create the equipment the equipment category is mandatory okay so if i go to the system So whenever we are creating equipment, if I go to IA01, here you have the equipment category. So what type of equipment it is? If you click on the list, we have some equipment categories. In this, we have fleets, fleets, vehicles. Okay. During our equipment session, that time we have just created a equipment with category F. But in today's session, we will understand in depth of these fleets, fleets topic. Okay. So basically, normally all the vehicles vehicles in the company like trucks cars uh, uh, buses okay vans whatever is there they are created with a category called fleet equipment category fleet okay so now in the sap system in addition to cars and trucks the term fleet object also includes buses trains commercial vehicles and others and others like machinery ships airplanes and helicopters okay you can also use the fleet functionality to manage the containers so for the containers uh, which carries the products you can use the fleet management okay the sap system shows a fleet object as an equipment master record with fleet relevant data. so in the in the sap system the equipment master record for the fleets also contains fleet relevant data which i will show it in the system like all pieces of equipment you can also use the fleet object as a reference object for maintenance or service tasks so to carry out any maintenance activity on that fleet vehicles you need to create them as a equipment and with category fleet okay you can map the vehicles as equipment master records and enter vehicle specific additional data which is displayed in the system on two additional tab pages so fleet relevant data is maintained in two additional tabs okay so let me show you just this anyhow we will be creating a new new equip, new fleet equipment today but let me show you the one which is already there in the system let me show you okay so if I execute, okay, you see here there is an equipment already. Okay, so if you take this, if you double click, 
okay you see here normal this is a equipment master which is created with category of fleet vehicle and if you see here we have four tabs general location organization structure but on top of that you have two extra tabs here okay vehicle id measurements and vehicle technology so in these two views you will be maintaining the relevant fleet relevant data we will discuss all these things in detail the important ones what data to be maintained okay what is their significance all those things we will discuss okay so let's continue that's what here it says it says you can map the vehicles as equipment master records and enter vehicle specific additional data which is displayed in the system on two additional tab pages that's what i showed the two additional tab pages these two vehicle id measurements vehicle technology okay so let's continue now fleet relevant data in the equipment master record so what is the data you maintain in the equipment master record for the fleets so here you maintain their identification data dimension data transport data task list data and engine data and fuel and uh, lubrication data this is what you maintain in those two views okay so if you see here in those two views vehicle id measurements another one is technology so in these views you will maintain that relevant data that relevant data so here if you see here this is the data okay if you go to vehicle id measurements first fleet object type okay identification data license data okay then it's transport relevant data like what is the that vehicle weight okay it's load volume load height all those things then its dimensions you will maintain here okay and then in the vehicle technology you maintain its usage indicator i will i will come to this usage indicator and its engine data what type of engine it is diesel its engine serial number okay and engine's power capacity all those things and its primary fuel okay how it is consumed metal consumption calculation method you will maintain here so these two tabs will be extra for the fleets where you maintain their fleet relevant data fleet relevant data okay so let's continue so now the, the, the question is how we are getting these two extra tabs two extra tabs here okay so these two extra tabs we will get because of the view profile view profile okay so if you see here fleets are simply the equipment with the fleet profile allocated to the equipment category so for the equipment category for the equipment category you will have a view profile we discussed this during our equipment classes but the fleet profile will have a, a fleet category will have a different profile that is the reason we are getting those two tabs okay so let me show you this let me go to configuration Okay, let me go to SPR, SAP reference IMG, scroll down, go to plan maintenance and customer service. Okay, go to master data in plan maintenance and customer service. Open this, go to technical objects. Okay, but we need to go to basic settings. Sorry, not here, here only. In the in the general data in the technical objects general data here set view profiles for technical objects so if you go there uh, you see here you see here screen group fleet object data there is a separate profile this is the view profile assigned okay so now if you select this profile and if you go to activity and layout of views you see here you have two additional two additional views here two additional views here that is the reason we are getting those two extra two extra okay if you go to normal one normal category normal category if you go to activity and layout of views you have this so for the fleets along with this four you will have the extra two okay for the fleets so this view profile will control all those things and also if you go back 
okay and also if you go to equipment equipment categories okay here in the maintain equipment category if you go there the fleets you see here fleets vehicles okay profile is there and if you go to additional additional business use 